continuing on with task two from the previous video, we will now look at the other options available for the layout of the report. By clicking layout from the top menu, we already know that you can control which dimensions should appear as columns, rows, and filters in the pivot table. Another option we can define here is the aggregation of the value displayed in the table. If we want to get an average value of the ages of malaria cases by species type, in the layout options under aggregation, we can choose age instead of number of events, and then select average as the aggregation operator. Then click update to view the updated table. Notice when this is done, age disaggregations are removed from the table and age is now displayed as an average. We can see the average age for each condition and species type. The table also shows subtotals and totals for these averages, which do not make much sense in this context. If you would like to save the table as a favorite to refer back to it, you can do so by clicking on Favorites and then save. When saving a report, you can provide the favorite with a name and a description if required. You can also download this report by clicking download and then choosing the format you would like the report to be downloaded as. For example, if I click on the Microsoft Excel download, this is what the downloaded file looks like. We hope you found the demonstration of the Event Reports app useful. Let's highlight what we have learned in this subsection. We described the Event Report app interface. We covered how to create both a list of events and an aggregate table of events using Event Reports. We applied legends to create categories for data. We saw how the Event Reports app allows us to select data items and use as filters, and we illustrated the difference in aggregation types of event data. We hope you have been following along with the step-by-step -step activities listed under the videos. But if you haven't, please refer to them for extra practice to help ensure the understanding of the information presented on event reports. Also, use the discussion forum to ask questions to other learners or facilitators. Once you have completed the activities and are comfortable with the material, please attempt the graded assignment for this subsection. Thank you.